Okay, so now I'm joined by Goichi, a famous Chun Li player from Japan. Okay, um, is this um, uh, how's your stun fest going so far? So, Genji, then there are stun fest, what do this car, Taika Teki, Keka, Taika no Keka, what do this car? Keka, hi, eh, what, team, Senga, Nide, eh, to, in my single, what, eh, best of June, Nide, Makemasa. Uh, I won. Uh, I I was on second place on the two versus two, okay. and I lost on the top sixteen uh, on the solo. Okay. Uh, who's been the hardest opponent you faced in the tournament today? Uh, best it was uh, eight, eight on top 16, it was very, very hard for me. How, how do you feel about the Chun Li Ken matchup? So, so no Kumia was here, what do you think about Ken Tai Shun Li? Chun Li is the most difficult character Ken is to be able to do it, and it's a very bad fight. I think um, uh, Ken is the worst matchup for Chun Li. Oh, wow. If Ken, I like uh, who else is uh, a bad matchup for Chun Li? Because like she's considered at the moment to be perhaps the best character in the game. So, if Ken's the worst, who's second and third in terms of her worst matchups? So, in the time, Chun Li was the best character, but now I'm in the place where Ken is the hardest. But Ken is the most difficult. Well, uh, Liu, Liu Ken is a bit difficult. I think Liu. It's also a bad matchup for Chun Li. Um, so Chun Li in Street Fighter Five is like fairly different to how she's been in like um, previous games. What do you like about the Chun Li in Street Fighter Five? Well, I mean, what, what is it about Chun Li in Street Fighter Five that makes you play her? ストーリートファイター4は僕はやってなかったんですが、5はやっぱりチュンリーの技一つ一つにあの意味があって、あのどの行動してもなんかいろんな答えが出てくるのがかなり楽しいキャラだと思います。Actually, I didn't play Street Fighter 4. It's my first Street Fighter. Okay. And I think every move actually have a sense. So it's very interesting to play because you have a solution for almost everything in with Chen Li. Okay. okay, so after um, the tournament today, we started off with 512 uh, players, and now we've ended up at the top eight, which will be taking part tomorrow. They're all Asian players. Uh, from the, the, the sort of like European players you've played today, what kind, I mean, like, is there like um, something that just Europe needs to like catch up on in terms of being able to make like a, a top eight in a tournament like this? Quite a technical question. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. You know. So,今日の大会はえっと子役非常の参加者があってえっとアジア系以外のプレイヤーは何が足りない部分がありますかうまあ気づいたことそう今はとジュトップ十六はアジア系ばかりなんですけどアジア系アジア系日本人とかそうアジア
Right now in Japan, Tokido is the best player, and if he's playing his game, there's no way he uh, can lose this tournament. Okay. So up until this point in the Capcom uh, Pro Tour, it's kind of seen that Infiltration is number one, and Tokido is number two in the world. What do you think Takedo needs to do to be able to beat Infiltration in the next tournament they meet? So, in the end, Capcom Pro Tour, Infiltration is 1 and Tokido is 2. What is the difference between Tokido and Infiltration? Do you have any questions? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that, I suppose that is the big question. That is the bit. No, it's on everyone's little like mind. So like, how it will help. Ah, he don't. Uh, these two players is very high, uh, and he don't know. How to <laughs> it's a very fair answer. It's a very fair answer. Okay, and then um, final question: uh, What's the next Capcom Pro Tour event you will be going to? I'm guessing it may be CEO, from what we've spoken to the other guys, but I'm going to ask anyway. Uh, yeah. そこにいくよ Okay. And thank you. And thank you very much to uh, Chocobo Tiger for helping me out with these translations. I very much appreciate it. Okay.